Hi, I'm Wayne Davies. I'm the owner and director of Spectrum Economics. Today I would like to introduce my business and my YouTube channel. I've been a professional economist working in the Queensland Government for about 10 years. My key areas of expertise are in transport economics, cost-benefit analysis, economic modelling, microeconomics, welfare economics and social impact evaluation. I have decided to transfer my skills to running my own business. I have set up a website and this YouTube channel. My website can be found at www.spectrumecons.com. Okay, here we are. So this is uh, my webpage, Spectrum Economics webpage. So if you go to my homepage, this is what you'll see. So over to the left here, we have the Spectrum Economics logo. So the seven stands for the seven uh, visible colors of light. So that would be ranging from your purple to your red. Below that we have the, uh, the name of the organization, Spectrum Economics, as well as the motto of applying economics the right way. So over here you can see this picture. This is a train. This is a Karanda train, in fact. So again, this is, I found, particularly relevant considering my background in transport and roads. And also the fact that this train is very colorful. Again, going with the theme of Spectrum, of the, uh, the, um, the ranging colors, the seven colors. So below that, we have a quick outline of the services provided by Spectrum Economics. As you can see here, it's just a very brief outline. We actually go into a little bit more detail on the services page. So it just gives you a feel for what we actually do. And then below that, you've got my um, email address, waynedavies at spectrumecons.com. You've also got down here the LinkedIn, and that will take you directly to my um, LinkedIn account, so you can, fi again, find out a little bit more information about me. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly take you over to my profile page. Here you can see, here's my photo. And this is uh, my um, CV. So this tells you just a little bit about myself and some of the work that I've been doing over the last 10 years. What I was doing at Transport and Rain Roads for nine years and for the one year at Building Queensland. So my education, I attended the University of London where I got my uh, bachelor's and honours. I actually did that in um, Singapore. And my Master's of Applied Economics, that was in 2007 from Griffith University. So if you look at my work experience, this takes us all the way back to 2006 where I worked as a tutor at Griffith University, right up into where I am now, uh, and only just started, what, two weeks ago, as the uh, Director of Spectrum Economics. Below that, you have my experience in relation to cost-benefit analysis. So I've got a project here, the Bowen Road Bridge Repair and Replacement Project, which I completed in 2000, well, late 2015, which involved producing the full report and the full analysis. And going all the way back to 2008, um, during my early days at Transport and Main Roads, and that was a Kuma Interchange upgrade. I've also been involved with non-infrastructure projects as well. So that's looked at things such as um, noise barriers and uh, traffic signal installments. And most of those were fairly low capital, but they could be quite tricky and actually needed to develop models for those. Like, for example, for the traffic signal controllers, I had to develop a model that will determine the optimal timing of the implementation of these new signals. And also with the travel demand management stuff, I need to uh, conduct a rapid model again to determine the benefits of actually changing um, working times of day. And that model has actually did a little bit more than just what was required for the project. So it's flexible enough to actually take on quite a few different non-infrastructure projects as well. I've also been involved with a number of different programs as well. So the most notable one would be the Bruce Highway Action Plan. So that takes us back to towards the end of 2012, which I led a, a group of economists for about four months on that. And that, that was about a $16 billion program, I believe. There was, I think it must have been close to 80 different projects that were involved with that. And there was a team of about five or six working on that one. Another notable uh, project as well, which is done, I think, six months to a year earlier, was the Warrego Upgrade Strategy. Again, there was just two of us working on that. But again, that was a fairly significant amount of work. I think it was about 10 different projects along the Warrego Highway. And um, most recently was the Northern Australia Roads Program. It was done in 2016. Again, I led another group of economists for about a month to two months on that. So it was rapid CBAs for quite a number of projects. There's definitely more than 10, about 10 to 15 projects sort of rolled up into a program. 
I've also been involved with um, peer review work as well. So the most notable peer review stuff has actually occurred over the last year when I was working at Building Queensland. So that involved um, peer reviewing the cost-benefit analysis and social impact evaluation for projects such as the Cross River Rail project, public sector regional radio, and the Abraham to Nambour Rail project. I've also um, done peer review work for um, journals as well. So for the Journal of American Society of Transportation, I've peer reviewed a number of journal articles going back to 2013 and whenever they call upon me. So potentially I could still be doing some work there. And in 2015 I peer reviewed about four um, papers for the Australasian Transport Research Forum. I've also developed a number of economic models. So I think the most notable one here is the uh, detailed road economic analysis model which is actually now becoming the primary uh, economics model for transport and main roads. So again that is uh, a spreadsheet, it's uh, an Excel based spreadsheet model which actually is quite enormous in terms of the number of algorithms and stuff in there. And another one I've got which is a little bit similar is the uh, concise analysis of road project slash programs model and um, that one again follows a similar concept to DREAM but it, it cuts down a lot of the algorithms so it's a, a rapid way of calculating uh, the results of a CBA without necessarily taking all the data inputs, I think about half the data input requirements but at the same time it was aimed to get you within about 10 to 20 percent of the accuracy so again that's a good um, model to use initially for projects where you have less information and when I was at Building Queensland, I developed the social impact evaluation model as well. So that's actually will be uh, currently in use by them. I've conducted a number of workshops and presentations over the years. I think the first one takes you back to Narang in 2007, which was a cost-benefit analysis workshop for the regions and conducted a number of those. That was uh, focusing on cost-benefit analysis for road projects and what work the regions can do. So it was a bit of a workshop slash information session and we carried those on for quite a while. I think the most recent would have been like 2013. I've also as well from 2011 presented at a number of conferences which include the Engineering Technology Forum, the R Conference and the ATRF. Oh yeah, and the European Transport Conference. So those papers actually down here got all the links to those so all of those papers down here have actually been peer reviewed and been published either in conference proceedings or within uh, journal articles so these links here will, will take you directly either to the PDF or to another website which you can actually click on, click on another link that will actually get you to the paper back to this alright that's enough about me let's go on to the uh, services provided by Spectrum so here we are, we've got peer review. Again, this is peer review in relation to cost-benefit analysis and social impact evaluation. So again, depending on what, what's required, but um, you can go into a reasonable amount of detail on that, depending on you know, we have um, spreadsheets to review or business case chapters and uh, reports and all that. And I've also got cost-benefit analysis. So most of my cost-benefit analysis relates to transport and road projects. And they varied from flood immunity projects to overtaking lanes to rail projects. So again, almost anything within the transport sector, I'll probably be the ideal person to conduct a cost-benefit analysis for. Um, economic research. Again, I've got a master's degree, so I've got a reasonable amount of experience, and plus the last eight to nine years of doing uh, economic research as well, it's gone into the papers. So potentially this could take us down any avenue, really, in terms of the focus of whatever research is required or whatever we used to come to stumble across. Um, some of that will be uh, put up on my um, YouTube. Economic models, again I mentioned earlier, developed a number of different economic models. So some that are currently in use, so again my services could be used to actually update these existing models or even develop new models. So again there's a reasonable amount of flexibility in terms of what we can provide in that area. Also, I'm going to be posting some economic models on this website. So I've got a model I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, workshops. So I'll be, I'll be conducting workshops relating to cost-benefit analysis and social impact evaluation. 
So the cost-benefit analysis workshops, it, we focus on both non-specialists and specialists. So for the non-specialists that are basically just interested in what outputs they're receiving from consultants, what I'm going to be doing is um, presenting what you should look out for when you see a report and what you need to look for in those reports and provide a basic idea uh, of what the important concepts are you need to be aware of. So those workshops are going to be reasonably short, could be around two hours. And we could have longer workshops as well for the uh, practitioner and the specialists, go into a little bit more detail in terms of how you actually go about doing CBA. The same with social impact evaluation as well. These would tend to be a little bit shorter, but it's going to be focusing on what social impact evaluation is, given that it's a fairly new area or an area that is currently emerging, there's a greater focus on that, and also how you can actually conduct your own workshops to actually obtain the information to actually be able to do your own social impact evaluation. Another workshop type is going to be the integration of CBA and SIE. So that's going to be looking at how you can use SIE to actually enhance your cost-benefit analysis. So the SIE is strongly involved with the identification of impacts and which impacts can potentially be quantified and even monetized and which ones that you, you can't monetize or quantify and therefore should be included but as a qualitative description. So again, you, you could get a better outcome with your CBA if there's additional impacts that are being identified that can be monetized. So more on the terms of uh, general education and um, training, I've got my YouTube channel, so I'm going to be uploading videos fairly frequently. Um, could be looking at one or two a week. And these videos are going to be on a, a number of different uh, topics, mostly relating to economics. So the first lot of videos are mostly going to be around the papers I presented. So I'm converting my presentations into videos, which you can actually view on YouTube. I'm also going to be looking at other things such as income and income inequality as well. So those videos are going to be coming up fairly soon. And um, if you're a university student you want to know a little bit more about my videos, you can contact me and you can get uh, a group of friends or whatever I can actually present to you or even go down to university and do some presentations there. So again, some of the topics all might need to be combined together. But again, if you want more information, just um, email me on my email address here. Okay, so there's a few pages that don't have too much information on at the moment. Like the news page, that's going to be updated fairly soon. And the models page, that's where I'm going to actually have some of the models that I've created going to go on there. So the first two models are going to have up on there is a, a risk model, uh, one that looks at sensitivity analysis and Monte Carlo analysis, and also a game as well called Life Choices. So that is a game that applies economics. That's in terms of how you value various things and also again applying risk. So there'll be more information on that fairly soon. I've got my research page here. So the research page, this um, contains um, abstracts of papers that I've presented uh, over the years at the conferences that I mentioned. So this, uh, you see the abstract, and at the bottom of each abstract I've got the link to the actual website or the actual, the actual PDF of where you can actually find these papers. So some of them is a PDF, some is a website. And once the videos have gone up on YouTube, I'm also going to include links to the YouTube videos on this page. You can actually go in, so you can read the paper or you can actually view it as a presentation. So that's for, eventually it's going to be for all of these papers here. So it's going to take a little bit of time to complete all these, but eventually all of these will be made available on YouTube for you to view. All right, so if you want more information, just go to our contact page where you can actually uh, inquire about our various services. But so before I get to that, I've got a picture over here. This is the, um, the Blackpool train. This train goes along the seafront at Blackpool. And it's, it's a very cute little train that goes along. And I found it appealing in the sense that, again, with my background in transport and roads, a train seemed quite appropriate. And also the fact that they've got the different colors and the lights Again, that it goes again with our theme of spectrum and all that. So I've got this on this page. And just below that, here we have. So if you're interested in any of the services provided by Spectrum Economics, you just have to fill out this form here. So you enter your name, your email address, what you're interested in, and just go ahead and click the Submit button. Before I go, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about my LinkedIn page. As I mentioned earlier, if you click on this, this will take you to my LinkedIn page. So this is if you haven't actually signed in yet. So if you want to see my full profile, you click on this button. 
And this just tells a little bit more information about me in terms of my previous experience, uh, my education, we've got certificates and all that. And if you actually go to my, well, I actually got all my publications on here as well, it's just interesting enough. I actually keep some, there's a lot of information on here. Some of the projects I've worked on in the past and also some of the groups that I've been involved with. So here we are, so, sorry, not involved with, uh, groups that I signed up through LinkedIn. So we've got the uh, Griffith University alumni, and we've got two um, vegan groups we've got on down there. There's another thing I like to mention as well, I'm a vegan, and, I'll, and in time I'll be actually including a vegan page on my website. So again, that's going to be including some interesting things in relation to animals and animal cruelty as well. And I'm going to have a few videos on that on my YouTube channel as well, in case you're interested. If you enjoyed today's presentation, just click the like button. If you're interested in um, presentations and videos relating to economics, click the subscribe button as I'll be uploading some presentations fairly soon.